I'm approaching Mildam and we're going past Mildam sheltered housing and they've got a lovely fence up but look what we've got here this is a really great piece of fencing as well I love the wood I think it uh, fits in with the character of Mildam it's been done extremely well and goes round here and up to there then we go in through the gate and we come into Mildam Park and we have some more fencing which is um, similar design <coughs> simple but top quality strong fencing that's going to last I would imagine another 30 years and uh, now here along the border we will have lots of plants that uh, are below the surface but will be the plants will be coming up in the spring we've got wallflowers here and the fencing ending up here so overall we've got a great park that's um, small with a lot of uh, involvement by the people in this area <coughs> along here we've got plants that are a whole variety of perennials grasses and then bulbs already coming through here you can see them down here coming along here lots of bulbs that we put in this year and previous years look at that lot looking really great and along here and a patch there so we've been putting bulbs in now I think four years and uh, there's quite a variety some are tulips some are daffodils and some crocuses that's the uh, Mombrisia coming up looking healthy along this bed here we've got crocuses going to be coming up there's some there some more there and with spring coming there'll be even more um, we'll be seeing them in the next few weeks so this park is going to look really great in the spring and looking forward to uh, the sun coming up and we'll be putting our pottery up on the right on these uh, this fencing shortly so um, a great beginning to the year 2013 thank you mr clark the engineer the parks engineer behind uh, this playground <coughs> He um, supervises all the parks in South Lakeland District Council. It's a phenomenal job. Uh, but he's been able to um, organise it so that we get this f bit of fencing here. Whereas uh, it looked like uh, until recently that we weren't going to get anything like what we've got now so thank you um, Peter Clark for all the work you do with us in order to make this playground a really great place thank you